right out that door. We're going to follow our sign holders, and the police will get us out onto Main Street, and we will walk at a somewhat slow pace. Okay? <laughs> Any questions? So pinwheels, signs, noise, and Richard Hook from the Rotary. Make sure someone's got Richard. He's old.
excuse for elder abuse. No excuse for elder abuse. What do we want? No excuse. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? No excuse. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? No excuse. When do we want it? Now. No excuse for elder abuse. No excuse for elder abuse. No excuse for elder abuse. We just wanted to remind you that we can't let the balloons go, so you'll have to bring those inside. We can't do that this year. But this year, what we what we decided to do, and um, Janice was nice to have the pinwheels behind you. Um, each pinwheel represents a thousand reports that we've gotten in the state of Massachusetts. We've gotten thirty thousand reports on elder abuse in Massachusetts. So that is the visual display this year um, to represent all of the reports that we've gotten on elder abuse. This day is to help build awareness, to let people know that if they see something, to say something. Please report if you suspect that there might be something going on that might be somebody who's getting harmed. We're here to help. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. I'll tell you, talk about elder abuse. I am now at that wonderful age and I walked in the hot with no water, and look at the hair. That's abuse right there. <laughs> so we're just going to have a quick little presentation here. Um, once again, thank you. Welcome to the Brockton Council on Aging. I think the best council on aging in Massachusetts. <laughs> I think it's been about five years now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, seven. And this was a great partnership we formed with Old Colony Elder Services. Because we realized that we needed some help getting word out about this issue, that it was something we couldn't do on our own. And we knew that we could partner with OCES and other agencies and our seniors to help us get word out. This room here has a, is a fire in here? Can you put your hands over your ears for a second? <laughs> this room is 150 capacity. We are well over that this year. Well over it. Good. Give the next piece of pizza. I want to say thank you to all our elected officials. I want to say thank you to all the agencies that came out today to support the COA and our elder population. And I want to say thank you to our seniors that marched and continue to support us each and every day. So crimes against the elderly are some of the most underreported because of the because the victim does not want to seem like they cannot take care of themselves or because they are fearful of more abuse. I encourage people who have elderly family members to keep a close eye on them. Today we have representatives from different nursing home and rehab facilities and today I ask them to make a promise to protect our elders who we put in your care and to provide proper training to staff so that none of our elders will have to live a life based on fear or neglect. It seems so fitting to me that World Elder Abuse Awareness Day is the same day as Flag Day. And as we know, as we know, the colors of the flag are symbolic. Oops. Sorry. Turn off your cell phones. White signifies purity. Red signifies haughtiness and valor. And blue signifies vigilance, perseverance, and justice. And I think that sums up why we do this march each and every year. The number of reported cases is unbelievable. When Terry gave me this number, I never ever imagined that was the number. 
So help us to end elder abuse now. And as Terry says, if you see something, say something. All reports are confidential. Thank you. At this time, I would like to welcome the mayor of our city, Mayor Carpenter. I guess Janice is really looking for a raise. Now she's wearing pants with holes in them when I come over. <laughs> Told me she needs to make more money. She can't afford to replace her jeans. <laughs> so I couldn't resist. That's yeah. okay. <laughs> it's fair play. <laughs> uh, it is great to be back with you again this year at this event. I think this is a couple of years in a row of nice weather now. So this beats the heck out of getting wet, that's yeah. for sure. Nice day to go for a walk in downtown Brock. Um, I, I really appreciate everyone that's contributed to this event, OCS, the other agencies that are here, the Rotary Club is here, our state legislative delegation is here, um, Councilor Drenancourt is here, I saw him. Uh, it's really important that we all get, by, uh, get behind this event each year. It's about awareness. It's about getting people to stop and think about something that they normally don't think about. And, you know, I, I've admitted to you in the past, this was something that I don't think I completely understood until my dad became elderly. And now he's 91 years old, living by himself still, but with a lot of support and services. But, you know, we had an incident this past year with a, a housekeeper stealing a check out of his checkbook. Um, I would not have been in tune with that, I think, a few years ago to be checking the checkbook to make sure all the checks are there. Um, just the risks of worrying about what can happen. And, and I think when people say, what do you mean by elderly abuse? Well, it means a lot of things because, you know, it can be emotional abuse. It can be physical abuse. It can be abuse by neglect. It can be financial abuse. And lots of times the abuse comes from people that our senior knows and trusts. And that makes them even more at risk uh, for these types of things to happen. So um, Janice, to you and everyone here, great job again this year. Thank you to all the partners in the event. Um, it seems to get bigger and better every year. So uh, thank you to everyone for participating and, and we'll just keep spreading the word that we've got to protect our seniors. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Um, does anyone know sign language in this crowd? No, Jay. No? Okay. So this year, um, somebody who is new to the center came in this morning and is um, hearing impaired. And it was very important to her for me to read this um, poem that she brought in. And I think we probably have heard it before, but it's a beautiful poem and it, it's worth listening to again or if you've never heard it, um, to hear it. So, here we go. It's called Why Me. I once was young and carefree, not a worry in the world, but now my hands are knotted, wrinkled, and curled. The lines on my face represent my life's sorrows and joys, memories, your disdain, and hate can never destroy. I don't ask for much, just a little of your time. Why do you constantly treat me like I'm slime? You act as if I'm infringing on your space. You really don't care, I'm part of the human race. I want to ask for something with no fear of being hit. I'm terrified, terrified you'll commit me telling everyone I'm unfit. And there are others out there who don't know what to do, can't someone help us so we will no longer be blue? We're not young and spry and need a little help along the way. Some people try their damnedest to place us in harm's way. I want you to contemplate that someday you'll be like me. I hope your caregivers are as nice as they can be. You'll reflect on your treatment of me with pensive woe, and wonder why you were so mean 
as I was not your foe. Soon all the abused elders will, not, will no longer say, why me? Instead, we'll say thank you and no longer be lost at sea. So, to my friend, and I think I'm doing this right, thank you. At this time, Terry Quartz from Old Colony Elder Services. Thank you. Um, I wanted to first say that um, the district attorney um, was not able to be here, but sent his wishes and um, his staff to represent. He had another engagement that he had to attend. So thank you. I'm going to introduce Susan Willis, uh, my supervisor and ASAP program director at Old Colony Elder Services, to say a few words, and then I'm going to do my little spiel. Please welcome Susan. everyone. Thank you for uh, joining us in this great event. It's been a perfect, perfect weather day, and it's a great way to demonstrate our commitment to preventing and ending elder abuse. I recently read an article which talked about the best ways to prevent and combat elder abuse in our communities, and I was reminded of this collaboration and this event that we have here today. The top three suggestions were to learn the signs of elder abuse and the risk factors, promote a heightened awareness as education is the best method of prevention, and learn how to access help. And I thought it really sounded a lot like this group here today and this event that we are all participating in. As we all live longer and age in place in our own homes in the community, we need these collaborations within our community to continue our efforts to prevent and end elder abuse. We are a network of very caring individuals and agencies and have a trusted relationship in our community. So on behalf of OCES, I would like to thank everyone here today for attending to make this event so great and thank you for all that you do. And I'd also like to give a special thank you to the OCES PS team for helping to prevent and end elder abuse. <laughs> All right, thank you. Um, today we march for World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, a day when we bring recognition to the victims of elder abuse. Last year we received 30,739 reports across the state of Massachusetts. We are here today to lend a voice to help build awareness for the elder abuse victims out there. Elder abuse is a hidden crime. Any one of our elders could become victims of abuse. This event is a wonderful collaboration for us all coming together to support our elders in the community. We couldn't have done it without the help and support of our partners. This is a chance for us to build awareness and educate people about <coughs> elder abuse. If you see something, report it. If you hear something, report it. If something doesn't seem right, call and consult. Help us help our elders that are suffering from abuse, neglect, financial exploitation. We can all help. I want to recognize my staff again. Please stand. You guys do the other front line workers. change the names for confidentiality, but we do this job for Ms. Mrs. Smith, who is afraid to leave a long-time domestic violence relationship, for Mr. Jones, who is left alone during the day and wanders, for Mrs. Roberts, who can't manage her diabetes and ends up hospitalized, for Mr. Douglas, who is giving all his money away to sweepstakes, thinking he's going to win the lottery, for Mrs. Boyd, whose long-term partner threatens to put her in a nursing home if she doesn't sign over her house. For Mr. Lemer, who is bed bound and can't transfer and develops bed sores. This is why we're here today, to help give a voice and send a message that elder abuse is not okay. And we are here to help. Again, if you see something, say something. One person can make a difference. One person can save a life. Thank you for participating in Elder Abuse Awareness Day. And I want to recognize all of the partners that have helped bring this day together. The Brockton Council on Aging. <laughs> from the Sheriff's Department, the Mayor's Office, the Brockton Police, Roach Brothers, Shaw's, Cappuccino's, Arbor One, the Rotary Club. Thank you all for all of you. We're now going to have the Mayor read the proclamation.
Susan just said Senator Brady wanted to send his best wishes, but he's in session, so thank you. I was so busy talking last time I forgot I was supposed to read the proclamation. Uh, <clears throat> this is an official proclamation issued by the City of Brockton uh, today. Whereas older adults deserve to be treated with respect and dignity to enable them to serve as leaders, mentors, volunteers, and vital participating members of our communities. And whereas in 2006 the International Network for the Prevention of Elder Abuse in support of the United Nations International Plan of Action proclaimed a day to recognize the significance of elder abuse as a public health and a human rights issue. And whereas 2018 marks the 13th annual World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, its recognition will promote a better understanding of abuse and neglect of older adults. And whereas the National Center on Elder Abuse in the city of Brockton recognize the importance of taking action to raise awareness, prevent, and address elder abuse. And whereas, as our population lives longer, we are presented with an opportunity to think about our collective needs and future as a nation. And whereas, ageism and social isolation are major causes of elder abuse in the United States. And whereas, recognizing that it is up to all of us to ensure that proper social structures exist so people can retain community and societal connections, reducing the likelihood of abuse. And whereas preventing abuse of older adults through maintaining and improving social supports like senior centers, human services and transportation will allow everyone to continue to live as independently as possible and contribute to the life and vibrancy of their communities. And whereas there is justice, there can be no abuse. Therefore, the city of Brockton urges all people to restore justice by honoring older adults. Whereas, we ask you to join us in our engaging and empowering movement and putting an end to abuse. So therefore, I, Bill Carpenter, as the mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim today, June 14th, as World Elder Abuse Awareness Day in the city of Brockton. And I'll present this to both Jan. Diana, would you like to accept this with, uh, with Janice also, or whoever? Okay. <laughs> oh, I want to get, I know this is OCS in COA both uh, did a tremendous amount of work to make today successful. I'm in the middle. Okay. Can't see it under my shirt, but I actually went back to the office and changed my tie. Before I came. <laughs> We had flag day at 10 o'clock, so I had to wear red, white, and blue at 10. But I changed it to purple before I got here. There we go. I also wanted to say thank you to Chris Cooney, Metro South Chamber of Commerce, working hard in the kitchen today. All right, we have a few recognition awards. Um, I'm not sure if um, Officer Giardini is here from the Brockton Police Department. No, I don't think he was, was able to attend, but I just wanted to say that and take this opportunity, we wanted to recognize him with the Brockton Police Department. He has worked really well with our Protective Service Department um, and has helped a lot of the seniors that are suffering from abuse. He works in the housing, um, so we wanted to recognize him and we'll make sure that he gets that award. So. I accept on his behalf. <laughs> Thank you. And he also says Janice should get a raise. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the recognition is when we come together to plan this event as a committee is we try and think about people that have really successfully collaborated with us and really have helped some of the seniors in our community. So that's the criteria that we use for the recognition awards. The next we want to thank Harbor One for assisting us from the very beginning of our march against elder abuse. 
They've been an important sponsor in helping us raise awareness of this important issue. They've worked well with our protective service department to help our seniors that are suffering from financial exploitation. And it's important to look forward, we continue to look forward to the continuation of the collaboration in working with the banks to prevent financial exploitation. So do we have Representative Nate from Harbor One to come accept this award? Design. They were unable to be here as well, but we want to take that opportunity to say thank you for donating the space of the billboard that helped build the awareness for this march. Um, they helped us get the word out, and Ron had said that he wasn't able to attend, and he left a message and said thank you for the consideration in terms of the certificate, but that work really wasn't needed. That's not why they were doing it, um, and that just keep doing what we're doing. So thank you, Sign Design. their behalf and he thinks I should get my own vehicle as well. <laughs> Hi, I'd like to ask Diana DeGiorgi, the Chief Operating Officer at OCES, to join me. We have a little uh, special recognition that we'd like to give out. In this room today, we all share a passionate commitment around a common purpose. Today, I'd like to recognize an individual from OCES who has demonstrated that passionate commitment to educating our community about elder abuse and prevention. On behalf of OCES and the senior team members, I'd like to express our thanks and appreciation for making us all more aware and for sharing her contagious enthusiasm and passion. She's been a valued member of the OCES PS staff for 19 years and has shared her knowledge, her leadership, <laughs> commitment and heartfelt concern with us all. And I'm proud to say that I enjoy working with her every day. Teresa, of course. says certificate of recognition awarded to Teresa Quartz in recognition of your dedication and leadership throughout the community in raising elder abuse awareness awarded June 2018 from OCES's senior team which is Susan Willis, Glenda DeVincentis, Nicole Long and myself. <laughs> We didn't have to do it, but we did it because we wanted to do it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. No Thank you. you. That's very thoughtful. I was standing here going, who are they talking about? <laughs> Actually, I was just telling Susan, I've been O'Callie 20 years. I just had my 20th, 20th anniversary, which I'm very proud of. I love doing this work. Yay. I love working with all of you, so thank you very much. Thank you very much. We have two more things, and then I promise we'll stop talking. Um, we have two um, certificates of recognition. One that um, is from Stephen Lynch, um, which is a certificate of special congressional recognition for today, uh, which I'll leave up here for people to look at if they want to. And then we also have um, Massachusetts House of Representative is recognizing June 15th as World Elder Abuse Awareness Day as well. Um, and I don't want to read all the whereas because I think it's a repeat of what the mayor had said, but it's awesome. We'll make sure that it gets a frame. It's got a wonderful seal heel. So thank you very much. Do you want to come up and say a few words? Come on, Jerry. Come on, Jerry. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Oh, nice Here you go. Congratulations, Terry. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Happy to be with all of you friends here today. Um, I'm wearing purple nail polish. That's all I've got today. But my, I'm with you guys in my heart and in my actions at the State House as the whole um, Brockton delegation is. I'm just going to hand it over to Terry. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. I just want to say congratulations. It was a beautiful day for a walk, and I think Janice deserves a raise. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, maybe we'll put it in the budget next year. What do you think, Jim? But uh, this is a great, great. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and a new building. Yeah. Uh, but this is a great event, and uh, it was just a beautiful day for a walk. And uh, you know, 20 years, congratulations! You, you do a wonderful job. And you know, us as a far as delegation, Claire Cronin couldn't be here for the uh, time being. She's in Boston. But uh, we're, we fight very hard uh, on behalf of our old colony elderly service and, uh, and also Janice, you know, her race next year. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, thank you. It was a great day, and uh, elder abuse is, uh, has to be stopped. So yes. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for coming. So we save the best for last. And before we have them perform, I have to say thank you to my staff, Michelle, yeah. Carla, Dottie. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes we're the front line uh, for people coming in and wanting to know where to go, what they should do. Um, and without them, uh, certainly we wouldn't be as wonderful as we are. So thank you all. I don't have an award for you, but I have my heart, and my heart says thank you to all oh, of you. Yeah. Woo! Thank you. Hollywood, I think, right? <laughs> Vegas? Dollywood. Dollywood. We have the one and only Brockton Swinging Singers. Yeah.